Hey what's up guys, Collectability96 here and I'm here again with another deck profile and the deck profile I will be showing you is Dark Worlds and this is the Turbo Dark World variant so this deck is built um, to focus on speed and really spamming out your Dark Worlds and getting a lot of hand control and yeah really fun deck to play and with the new format right now a lot of decks are really good so I've been testing this deck out and it's working out pretty well so yeah I'll go over the cards and give you a little talk about why I picked these cards alright so for the monster lineup I run 15 monsters and first we got this uh, normal three graphas uh, core cards three snows and three brows I don't know if you can see that all in the camera so I will show it to you individually so we run three graphas just because he's the boss monster of the deck, you could uh, keep bouncing him back onto the field from your graveyard. The only thing that will hurt him if it is when he gets removed from play. But otherwise, if he gets discarded to your graveyard, you could send, you could target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. And then, if you're against a mirror match, he gets the other effects. But yeah, so three Graphlets for sure. Then you got three Snows. And this is the searcher of your deck. So you have to run him. Once you discard him, you can search out any Dark World card. So that includes monsters, traps, or spells. So that's pretty good. And then three brows for the extra draw power. Also run two Silvas. I prefer Silver over Gold because I like the hand control. So if he gets discarded by your opponent's effect, you could put two cards in their hand and put it to the bottom of the deck, which is a really good effect in my opinion and he's level 5 and when he's discarded he, you can special summon him to the field so it's alright and then I want one beige just because um, he's a level 4 so you can normal summon him, summon him if you need to and then his effect is if you discard him he gets special summon just like Silva except he's level 4 and I run two tour guides the good thing about tour guides in this deck is that you could search out uh, you just search out Brow with it, with her. So um, if you have like two Tour Guides in your hand or something, you summon Tour Guide, summon Brow, pop Brow back to your hand and bring out Graffa. Just some easy combos there. And then I take in one Morphing Jar. Uh, with Hand Destruction banned now, uh, Morphing Jar is a really good card. With some situations, what you would do is, say you have like two Dark Worlds, like some spells and traps in your hand and then morphing jar you can set morphing jar set all your spells and traps no heavy storm now so you don't have to worry about that the attack morphing jar he flips up you discard your hand you get all your dark world effects go off and then you draw five more cards and usually what's good about this especially on the first turn is that people normally set their spell their trap cards on main phase two so after they attack this, they would discard all their cards in their hand and they might have some good traps in their hand that they lose. So Morphing Jar is a really good deck, a uh, really good tech in Dark Alright, so for the main portion of the deck, I run 17 spells. And those include, include 3 Dark World dealings. Core for Dark Worlds, you draw one, discard one. Helps you recycle cards in your hand and get Dark World effects. So I run 3 of those. And of course you gotta run the three drag downs. Such a broken card because just see your opponent's entire hand, see what they're playing, what they have in their hand, what to expect, and dump one of them and you get to draw a new card. And then most of the time you would use this only when you only have dark roads in your hand, so you'll get a dark road effect plus the extra draw. Run because this is turbo, I run three upstart goblins. So that way you could draw into the cards you need quicker. I only run two gates. I find three is a bit too cloggy, and you only really need to have two. Especially with Heavy Storm gone, the only way they'll pop this off is by MST or some other um, variant. But yeah, running two is all you need for gates. And you can search them out with snow. Search this card out with snow, so it's not that hard to find. Uh, I take in two Dark World Lightnings in my build. Just because there's no heavy storm and I do not run MST in my deck, in my main deck, uh, Dark World Dealing 
uh, Dark World Lightning is good like, for popping your face down monsters or the back row. And then usually with this is that you can pop the back row and then you can discard one of your dark rows and get their effect off. So that's in a way good. The only bad thing about this is that you do need to discard a card. So in some situations you might not have the card or you might not have a card you want to discard to use this. And other times they could just chain it with their trap card and then you'll just miss the target and you won't get your discard. So that's the only bad thing about it. But there's a lot of times where you could really go off through Dark World Lightning. And then for one else, I play one Dark Hole, one Trade In. Trade In's good for dumping your Graffle in your hand if you don't need to pop a card on the field. And then you get to draw two cards. And then I play one Allure because you play all Darks. And then one Gate Way of Dark World. This card, I tech one in because he, this card is pretty good in some situations. It could prevent OTKs. And say it's like their end phase, you could activate it, bring out one of your Dark World, say like Snow or. Uh, brow or something, and then when your turn starts, you could return to your hand to bring back a Graffa. And then you plus. And for the traps, I play eight traps. Uh, I don't really run that many trap cards because it is a turbo deck and it's meant for speed. And traps do sometimes slow down the deck. So what I run is three reckless greeds. Uh, Dark words could play reckless greeds effectively because you could, if you play mo more than one at a time. You'll draw so many cards and then you'll have so much fuel to go off with a lot of different combos and effects. So you have to run three Reckless Greeds. One Torrential because it's limited now and it's good for controlling the field. One Compulse, pretty much always alive and really good trap. I play one Mind Crush. I find that running two is, um, I don't really need two. I'd rather have a different card than a second Mind Crush in my deck. Just because you play one when you have drag down or you know they have a really good card in their hand. And yeah. I I main deck one skill drain because no no monsters in the Dark World deck need uh, has effects on the field except for our tour guide. So playing skill drain can ruin a lot of different decks. And then I play one called the Haunted. Just to bring back one of my monsters to bounce back for Graffa. Just to pl plus off that. And I don't run like the deck devastation virus or anything, mostly because I don't have it. And I find that you don't really need it in this kind of in this build. All right, for the extra deck now, um, Dark Roads doesn't really utilize much of an extra deck, so I don't have a complete and uh, completely effective extra deck. I just put together a few cards that I took from my other extra decks that would work and. Yeah, you can just play around with your extra deck, see what works for you and what you like. Uh, for rank 3s, I play Wind Up Zen Mines, number 17, and Leviathan Sea Dragon. Uh, Lovely Art Sea Dragon. Uh, Zen Mines is just overall really good rank 3 to have for defense. Uh, number 17, just a beat stick. And then Levier is good for bringing back cards you, you banish from gates. Stuff like that. Uh, for rank 4s, I play Photon Papalopative, which is a good general rank 4 to play. Uh, Digusto Emerald, if you want to recycle cards from your graveyard, but I probably wouldn't ever make them. Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, just for that final burn. Number 39, Utopia, for, I don't know, just to stall, negate attacks and stuff. Gemini Pearl, for Evil Swarms to get over. Uh, Actually, Dark Wars are actually really good against Evil Swarms, so you don't really need Gemini Pearl, but just in case you need that 26 speeder. And because I play uh, Silva, you could go into rank 5, so I play Adrius and Tyrus, Keepers of Genesis and Armageddon. Just those good rank 5s. And then because I play the rank 5s, I play Gaia. And level 8s are actually what you would exceed into the most, in my opinion, so I play number 107. Tachyon Dragon, it's a really good card. Um, when I've been testing the deck, there's been a lot of situations actually when I played this card and won me duels. Like I played one against this Watt deck, I summoned him, and then it just ruined his uh, lock combo. And then this card's probably the best card in the extra deck you can put in. And mostly because you could send your Grapha back into your graveyard to pop back onto the field. 
And yeah, because this is a turbo deck, you will have a lot of cards in your hand too. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much my Dark World deck. And if you have any questions or comments, any suggestions to make this deck better, please do feel free to leave a comment in the description box. Also comment if you do like these videos and I will make more deck profiles for you guys. Maybe do some more on Dev Pro if I don't have the real life cards. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Go try this deck out. It's really good, really fun to play. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.